Curry, a two-time regular season MVP. Some critical of his play in the last three NBA Finals. It's a little bit ridiculous because the dude's averaging about 27 points per game in the NBA Finals in his career. But look what he's done over the last couple of games here. Game six, game seven of the Western Conference Finals. And then last night in game one, Curry, tremendous 29 points. And, and Spinny, you know what's interesting? Last night, it felt in the arena very un -Oracle like There was a lack of energy here, right? Mm -hmm. And then Steph got going. That 16-5 to run capped off by that 35-footer to end the first half, that brought some buzz to the building. Jared, I, I like the term you just used. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I think, one, Cleveland Cavaliers and LeBron James had this Oracle Arena just kind of subdued. Yeah. But then you said, like you said, then here comes that little guy they call Steph Curry. I think people understand and arguably they say Kevin Durant is the best player, but this is the guy I think 3D the way he plays fearless and the shot he takes and makes gets them going and and he had been sub harsh Steph Curry, but like you saw in that graphic the last three games when his three ball starts to work everything is going and for me when Play. You know it, 3D. I knew when you got going, <laughs> yeah. you had that little walk. <laughs> Steph is that smile and shimmy. And when yes. you get to start to go into your antics, 3D had his walk. We had to hit it. <laughs> he still he walks that way regularly <laughs> now. It's a little different, though. It's a little bit more of a giddy up. That's all he's getting going. But Steph is the little shimmy and the smile. Yeah. So he's yeah. starting to get that going. And that's where I think it's a little scary for yeah. the opponent once he gets going from behind that three point line. 3D, we saw it last night. The Cavs, much like the Rockets, the Western Conference Finals, oftentimes hunting for Steph Curry in that pick and roll switch. Yeah, it's been huge for Ty Lue the whole playoffs that he looks for our guards. Many did the same thing in the Eastern Conference Final with Terry Rozier. So now, obviously, he's looking on Steph Curry. So I will give Steph Curry a lot of credit. He is putting the fight up, putting the battle up. The question is, Smitty, can he continue to do that? So now what the Warriors are doing, when they know that's happening, you give Steph Curry a lot of credit. He's fighting, he's fighting, he's getting in there. And now they build the wall. So look at Looney, look at those guys, spread their hands out to show more people, more hands in the driving lanes. And that's how you're trying to take LeBron out of rhythm. Now, how do you do that so many when a guy's got 51 points? You keep getting your hand in there, Looney knocks it out, you get out and run and get your transition game going. Same thing here. Now you've got Kevin Durant. They're fighting, 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 and you're trying to figure out when's LeBron going to drive, when's he going to look for the shooters, but now people come and show and help, and those are the few turnovers you get LeBron into. But this was the play we said, show, get back to your man. Now Durant saying, I'm sticking with my man. Now you put pressure on George Hill to be the facilitator, to go make something happen, and what better yet? Draymond Green, one of the best defenders in our game on the weak side of the floor. You go help out, you get the big block, you get out and run, and that's when the Warriors are at their best minute. 3D, fantastic breakdown. I think what you show right there to the people, it's so hard for Steph Curry, anybody, when mm -hmm. LeBron James has the basketball and then there's a pick for him. Yeah. But I think it's a little bit easier for the Warriors when they're when LeBron's setting a pick exactly. and being able to, that guy has to be aggressive, George Hill, to make that work. Exactly. Guys, let's talk about Kevin Durant, who I think had a, a weird stat line last night. 26 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, and the surface looks pretty good. But Kevin Durant in the fourth quarter, 0 for 4 from the field. It continues a trend since the start of the Western Conference Finals. KD in the fourth quarter shooting just 27%. Smitty, he's 2 of 12 from three-point territory in the fourth since, again, game one of the Western Conference Finals. And you know what, Jared, in 3D, the first 13 outings in this playoffs, he was shooting over 50%. You start saying, ooh, this is scary for everybody. The last five, he's down to 39%. And those numbers you said in the fourth quarter and basically in overtime, you call it crunch time. This is where he's struggling. To me, 3D, he's a phenomenal scorer. Born to score the basketball, but I think right now it's a little bit too much one-on-one -on -one for him. I would love to see him set more picks. Because because quite obviously, 3D, if I'm guarding Kevin Durant, he goes up a set of pick. I know I'm supposed to help, right. but I might get a little brain freeze too <laughs> because I'm guarding this guy. Because the one thing about him is if you're late one second, because there's no one really tall enough to right. block his shot, mm -hmm. I just think I would love to see him doing more movement without the basketball so he can get some more catch and shoot and one dribble pull-ups. Do you think it, it, it's a product of him not being comfortable in the system yet? No, I don't think it's him not being comfortable in the system because uh, I think he can play in any system. I yeah. think for him is you revert to I can do it when yeah. you start to get a little bit of adversity 3D, and I think that's where he's going to and saying, hey, let, give me the basketball and I can take over. I said when, when in doubt, the system, I believe in it, but I think sometimes when things aren't going well, you revert to the things that got you there, and I think that's what KD's going through right now. Interesting. There's a lot to break down from this game still to go.